Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I'm here to talk about how to um, harness and how to use your psychic abilities to predict the future by utilizing your uh, pineal gland slash uh, third eye that's already awakened. I have another video um, that spoke about how uh, that your pineal gland your third eye are awakened but that we are just, uh, we ignore it day to day life. Um, it, um, 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 the thing is though is that every day whether we're sleeping or awake or walking around every day of our lives the third eye and the pineal gland are sending images and feelings and telling us things that uh, that we just ignore that we just don't um, we, we don't pay attention to we don't take notice of the thing is though is that the pineal gland and the third eye we we subconsciously utilize that every day it helps us perpetuate our lives we live with it we don't realize it but it helps to guide us it helps to give us intuition it helps to give us um, um, thoughts if a situation is bad you know ever uh, have you ever have you ever had a situation where you're going with your friends and you're going to a party and uh, um, you have this bad feeling that something bad is going to happen or that these group of people at the party are bad news. That right there is your pineal gland and your third eye sending signals to you to tell you, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't go. That right there is already the third eye and the pineal gland working with you. Every day of our lives, it's working with us at every moment, every step, everything that we do, every thought that we make every intention that we want to do in our lives every uh every when we want to um when we're thinking of trying to pursue someone to love trying to find someone some companion our emotions is working with the pineal gland every aspect hearing seeing touching thinking imagination pineal gland the third eye every time that you're making decisions thinking of making a decision to do something or you're interacting or your physical working out or you're sleeping or you're playing video games every day it's fused with the reality it's fused and working with you every day everything that you do every millisecond every nanosecond of every day of your life your intuition and your consciousness is is fused and working with the pineal gland and the third eye to guide you in your life to make right decisions you know to guide you to achieve things you know to attract people you know to pick the right clothing and style and to and to approach things and situations and how to handle them when they occur and things like that it's working every day the pine, the pineal gland and the third eye are um, are basically they're in the brain they're connected to the brain they're they're, uh, they're it's it's a functioning gland you know it's awakened it, it's receiving blood and neurotransmissions every second of every day it's already awakened we have to take notice of it. now I'm sorry to go off but I want to add it in there how to be a psychic my technique on how I devised it is that you don't need to go into a, a psychedelic trip to go into a, a um, to be able to predict the future you don't need just like in the films when you see people of voodoo priests you know uh, they always have these crazy chickens hanging from the ceilings and you have these crystals big old huge crystals rocks uh, you don't need to have tarot car cards or candles you know um, uh, maybe you would use a candle to kind of you know in the darkness of your own relax you could use that but you don't need to be like you need to take like an acid or or uh, or take acid or, or take drugs that kind of take you into this world you know or sit around a fireplace or nothing like that you just have to come from work you sit down you take a shower, you relax, you lay down, or you sit, or you stand up, or, or whatever you want to do. Drink some tea, some warm milk, or hot chocolate, or something, and just kind of sit in the quietness of your own existence. Then what you want to do, this is very easy. Then what you want to do is just space out. Look at look at an object. Look at a corner of a room. Look at the wall. Look at look at something on the floor. Let yourself space out and let your mind just kind of manifest images let 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 your mind's eye let the third eye 
let your imagination just kind of just kind of play let it go and play let it kind of work itself up and let these images and thoughts go let it go and then before you know it you're going to start seeing things of what you did uh, uh, you're, you're going to start seeing images of, of you working working at, at work taking care of business taking your kids to school hanging out with your friends being at be, uh, if you're a student you're going to school college or whatever you know you, you, uh, all of a sudden these simple images are going to start arising you know and that's what you want realistic images of yourself doing things and interacting and meeting, meeting acquaintances going out to the park normal things so when that happens then in order to predict the future you have to kind of consciously tell yourself I want to predict let's say it's a third of the month and you want to predict um, a week approximately the seventh day of that month you know from the third you know somewhere around there so you have to consciously tell yourself I want to predict what's gonna happen you know this is gonna real, be real easy your brain's gonna catch on it I want to predict what's gonna happen on the seventh of the month from the third currently on the third that I am at you know and your uh, position in your life right now the right now and then you select an emotion you select an emotion you pick worrying you you, you can either pick worrying fear happiness sadness uh, you could pick something calm 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 the emotion of calmness whatever emotions you know whatever you, you could mix you could also mix fear with happiness together you know um, uh, um, and then you use you pick one emotion you sit there and you kind of pick sadness and you say I want to predict what's gonna happen within the week leading to the seventh day of the month and what's gonna happen is that you're going to see images of sadness that's realistically in the realm of of your life and whatever your mind sees is 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 an approximation very close approximation of what will happen as long as you as long as you use images that are realistic of your everyday life coupled with an emotion that you select that is what will be uh, that that is what will be a prediction a very close approximation of what will occur in your life you know the images in your head is like a clear glass of water and the emotions are like different colors and flavors you you pick a uh, worry or fear that's gonna be uh, worry could be purple and fear could be you know brown or something like that so when you select these images the mind being clear is gonna be affected by the emotion the mind is gonna be affected by the emotion and the mind is then gonna be um, focused in the emotion and all those images is just gonna be focused and it's gonna show you um, imagery of a fear or sadness um, of something occurring in your in the images the images are then going to change from mundane things working and then when you add fear or sadness then it's going to be something sad then it's going to transform the images are going to transform into something sad like um, uh, your check didn't come in on the right day or your or the bank was closed on the on the Monday of your that you're supposed to receive a check like something simple like that you know and um, it helps to focus and funnel it the emotions are like lenses on a telescope when you pick happiness or sadness you're focusing the lens on the telescope of your mind to allow you to focus and 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 funnel down and narrow down that emotion to transform the future to become sad or happy to allow you to pinpoint at a certain point in your life where something sad or happy will occur so that you can see so that you can see when those things might happen realistically by the images that you're thinking that's what you're doing the mind is like a carry glass of water and you're utilizing um, the emotions to change that water to become and more focused in on what you're trying to predict you know that's how you could use to be able to be uh, to, to become more psych uh, to use psychic abilities your own natural psychic abilities without having to go in a total trance without having to use without having to sit in the yoga position and use meditation or nothing like that the the emotions there you know then you could switch that in the same moment 
you were able to use sadness to predict something sad, your check didn't come in. So boom, it focused in on something sad. Your check didn't come in right. So kind of disappointing. Then you remove the sadness in the same moment and then you switch it with happiness. So then your mind starts to change. You have to provoke. When you're, when you're thinking of these images, you have to provoke the emotions in you, even though there's nothing external to cause it. You have to provoke it, something happy. What's gonna happen? You know, ha happiness is like a yellow. You're changing the color, the glass of water in your mind, and you're utilizing that to change it. So then, the the lens then becomes focused and changed, and it changes, and then you focus in on a prediction of something that can occur in the future. Um, someone's gonna surprise you with a gift. Your friend's gonna come in with a birthday gift. On, uh, on either the seventh day or the fourth day of the week and and uh, that is how you do it you have to provoke your emotions first you utilize your images then you have to provoke an emotion then you switch it up from happiness sadness worry fear in order to focus in and 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 to pinpoint when the events will occur with these those emotions and most of the time, their, um, their accuracies are approximations. They won't happen within a week, but they will happen within at least three months. You will predict something that will happen, something sad that will happen within a span of three months. You will predict something happy that will happen in a span of three months. You will predict something that will be fearful in a span of three months into the future. And so, and so that's how you utilize your own way of how to predict. You switch it up with your emotions, and those emotions then transform your images to then become sad. You're, you're going to see things in the imagery of sadness occurring. And this will also help with, um, I want to talk about telekinesis too. Um, I'm going to change a little bit. Telekinesis is much more of a, you're using your consciousness to rota rotate the object. You know, you're ro you're, you're, it's like you're using your mind's hand. To rotate the object and push it it's a whole two it's a whole it's a total new revol, revolutionary way to control things the general public it's totally alien to them but um telekinesis is like that you have to use your your intention and your and your consciousness to control an object from a distance you can't it, it you, you you can't have it be as though you're trying to force it it has to be almost like you're thinking and you're feeling and you're just using your mind to just do it. It's just a whole new way. It's like tying your hands behind your back and trying to move something, a doorknob or something like that. It's, a, it's totally different. But I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about going off about that. But, um, you know, um, I'm getting more better with my telekinesis. Hopefully I'll be able to, you know, take it to a whole nother level and levitate cars or build boulders or something like that. And really give hope to people they can do it too. And that's how you use your third eye and the pineal gland they're already activated you sit down think of what you want to do utilize emotions switch it up use one use another emotion you have to provoke it when you provoke it then you have much more of a drastic transformation of your perception of what you will see and what will occur in the future and that's how you do it this is Ricky Cespedes thank you very much for watching